Hello students, today we are going to start our second maths lab activity that is based on a property and the name of the property is distributive property based on the whole numbers. So we are going to learn this property with our activity. Okay, for this activity we have taken these graph papers you can see and the one both the graph paper is of same size and what is the size of this graph paper? You can see here the number of rows are 6. These are called number of rows and the number of columns are 8 here. Fine. So I have taken two papers of this. So can you tell me how many number of small squares are there? Again I am telling there are 6 rows and 8 columns okay so how many small squares are here if we start counting it then if we count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and if we count total they will come out to be 48 isn't it 6 multiplied by 8 so yes, it is 6 multiplied by 8 and that's why the number of square in this is 48. Now, I have pasted this graph paper of 6 by 8 and total number of boxes I have written here that is 48 boxes. Now you can see we are left with one more and I am just dividing this graph paper of size 6 by 8 into two parts one part in one part i am taking this six rows and five columns and in second part what is left it it is left six rows one two three four five six and three columns fine so you can see i have used the same size and here what what is the number of boxes in this paper it is 6 by 5 so what are the total number of boxes if we count this the total number of boxes are 30 and in this piece the second piece of the same paper if we count it is 6 by 3 the total number of boxes here is here are 18 now you can see I have pasted these two parts as well and write the number of boxes in front of that these are not 30 actually these are 18 fine 18 so these are 30 and these are 18 boxes and we have separated it with the same paper okay so the total number of boxes you can see here if you add 30 plus 18 that is 48 boxes means you when you separate it the number of boxes remains the same it will not change now just have a look that what we have learned from this what we have learned what we have observed you can see here 6 multiplied by 8 is 6 multiplied by 5 plus 6 multiplied by 3 means this is equals to this plus this so and 6 into 8 we already know 6 multiplied by 8 equals to 6 multiplied by 5 plus 3 means we have divided this 8 into 5 plus 3 we can write this Okay, so 6 multiplied by equal to this, 6 multiplied by 8 equal to this. So can we equate them? Means we are putting this value here. So what we get the result? 6 multiplied by 5 plus 3 is equals to 6 multiplied by 5 brackets plus again in the brackets we used to write 6 multiplied by 3. So what we learned from this that we are basically distributing a paper into two parts then there is no difference in the result if we find the answer of this that will be 48 if we find the answer of this that will be 48 means we can write in any manner and this is nothing but the distributive property of whole numbers and what we call it as distributivity of multiplication over addition so what you have to do uh, you have to paste what we have done this activity part on the plain side and the written part in which we have written the title the objective 
what we have to verify distributive property of whole numbers that we have verified using this paper cutting and pasting that you need to write and what actually the property is that is a multiplied by b plus c means this a we can write with b okay it is distributed among both of these so a multiplied by b plus a multiplied by c this is actually the property and then we have used the values in place of that that i have written here and then the observation so that's all about the activity students i hope you have enjoyed this and you have to do this activity in the same file as we you have done it on the previous file thank you so much